This is code.org. Let's see what we have here. Sprite movement. And I've already been testing mine. Zoop. Using the counter pattern, you can write programs that animate sprites smoothly. Adding to or removing from a sprite's X or Y property in the draw loop makes your sprite move just a bit each time it is redrawn. Do this. Read the code that makes the jet go up the screen. Add code that makes the plane move to the right, as in this image. Okay, so let me reset and run this. And yep, there's the jet going straight up. Okay, now I need to make the plane go to the right. All right. Hmm. So let me see. If I take a look at this, here's where my jet variable is, cool, and I give it a picture. Here's where my plane variable is, cool, and I give it a picture, an animation. Now, the draw loop runs 30 times a second. If it is running 30 times a second, then it is running a lot. We have sky at the top, background sky blue, and that's so we make sure to draw the background each time, because if I draw this background down here, Everything looks like it smears. So having the background at the top of the draw loop, make sure it blanks out whatever is on your screen before it redraws everything. Now, here's what's moving our jet. Jet.y is equal to whatever jet.y used to be equal to minus three. Okay, so whatever jet.y is equal to, and it would start at 350, when we hit the draw loop, the computer hits this line and says jet.y has it. Okay. Jet.y has a new value. Oh, okay, what's that value? Whatever jet.y used to be, and the computer says, what? Uh, what was it before? 350, okay, 350 minus three. Okay, that's 347. So jet.y's new value is 347. And then it hits this, draws the sprite at y of 347. If you look down here, you can see y value. So 347 for y is way down here. We hit the bottom and we go back to the top. Draw loop runs 30 times a second. We blank out everything on the screen. And then we hit this line again. Oh, jet.y now has another new value. Okay, what is it? Well, what was jet.y's old value? Well, we just said it was equal to 40, uh, 347. 347 minus 3 is 344. So now jet.y is equal to 344. And so now we hit the draw sprites and we draw the sprite up just a little bit. Boom. Go back around, blank out the screen. Oh, jet.y has a new value. It's equal to what was jet.y's old value? Well, we said it was 344. Well, 344 minus 3 is 341. And it does this 30 times a second as the loop runs. And if it's doing that 30 times a second, then it looks like a very smooth animation. So if we wanted to do that with our friend the plane, we aren't going to want to use y, right? We want to use left to right. So that would be an x value. So x. And you can just drag that out and it will give you an equal sign automatically. All right. And then what's the name of my variable of my image here? Plane. So plane is equal to. And then let's see if I want to go to the left. All right. And again, you can hover over to see. Oh, no, it's not going to let me. But if I want to go to the left on x, would I be adding or subtracting? And you can look down here at my x value. I'm at 200, uh, 195. If I go this way, notice that I'm adding. So if we want our plane to go that way, we need to add. So plane.x is going to be equal to plane.x plus, let's try three, which would be the same speed as the jet, or maybe it should go slower. No, it looks like they're going roughly the same speed. We'll see. But da And there we are. So they're both using the counter pattern, and it's called that because you can count up or down with this, uh, with these variables and properties using this. Awesome. Onward.